All right, guys, I am going back to the basics on this one. I'm talking Film School 101. That's right, I'm talking about the one, the only, tripod. I bet you guys haven't thought about these for a while, especially since gimbals and steadicams are all the rage right now, but I tell you, they still got their use. So I'm gonna share with you my tripod, and it is this one right here. So I've used this $100 tripod for the last six years. Now why would I use a $100 tripod, especially since most of my work is dance videos where I use gimbals, and when I'm shooting big commercials I have a full crew that uses dollies, steady cams, and if we really do need a tripod, they're bringing their own fluid heads. Well, it was for a very practical reason. So I picked it up because I was traveling to Iceland and I needed something that would fit in my luggage and that I could also attach to my camera backpack. And this thing fit perfectly. Plus, I rarely do camera pans or tilt moves with my style of shooting, so I really don't need a big fluid head tripod. I'm gonna show you how to use this tripod in three different ways. Let's take a look. Number one. So the most obvious use of it is as a regular tripod and the legs extend four levels and the neck rises up as well. So what's really cool about this tripod is that the legs widen, allowing you to go even lower. So if you place the camera on the ground, you can get really nice low angles. Or if you keep the camera on a surface like a table, you can still keep the camera low. Number two. The second way I use this tripod is when I want to get a smooth handheld feel. What it does is it stabilizes the camera to get rid of that DSLR shake that often occurs when you're actually holding onto it using a handheld style. All right, so I'm using this 50 millimeter lens. You can see as I'm trying to hold it still here, but you can start to see it shake a bit, bob around. Let's look at the edges. Can't quite keep it steady. Okay, same shot. Now I have it on the tripod resting on my leg much steadier shot. It's still handheld, you can still see the movements, but it doesn't have that vibrating jitter. So here's how you do it. You mount the camera on the tripod, you close the legs of the tripod, then if you're standing with your legs slightly bent, you rest the tripod on your own leg, and you loosen the head of the, the ball joint at the top here, then as you can see, the camera is quite steady, but I'm still moving around, but I've gotten rid of that DSLR shake and it just looks like a nice, smooth, handheld feel to it. So just be sure to loosen up this ball joint so you can keep the camera head floating and adjusting the angle as if it were actually handheld. And if you need to get a little height with it, you can extend the legs all the way out, close them together, and now you can use it as a monopod and still get that handheld feeling as long as you keep that uh, ball joint loose. Number three. So the third use of this tripod is if you're in a pinch and you need a gimbal. You can shorten up the legs, loosen up the ball joint, and hold on to it as if it were a steady cam slash gimbal and walk around. The results are actually pretty smooth. The reason why this works is because the weight of the tripod is pulling uh, the camera and your arms down cushioning some of that shake when you move. Now you do have to put some cushion into your step if you're moving using this as a steady cam because if you're just walking regularly, it's gonna soak up all of the bounce and the vibration. And you also wanna make sure you have a little bit of um, cushioning in your arms. So if you do hit something, your arms aren't solid and stiff where they catch every vibration. You wanna keep them loose so it's soft. So if you do happen to like maybe go up a curb or hit some bump, your arms are not gonna like jiggle so much. They're gonna be soft. So these are the three ways I use this tripod. And there are three things that really can only be done when you have a nice, small, compact tripod like this. And when I'm not using it, I can make it really small by folding it up and then I can slide it into this bag and strap it in. It makes it super convenient when you're out on location and just wanna carry around a single camera bag. But it also comes with this carrying case so you can put it in here and sling it across your shoulder. This thing does not take up much room and is only 100 bucks. So if you're looking for a tripod that's affordable, sturdy, and very travelable, this is a great fit. I will leave a link down below in the info um, where I got it on Amazon. Um, otherwise, um, that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below or you can reach me on my website, which is dream19.com. 
Um, if you're a small business, if you're um, a musician or a dancer looking for a video or a commercial or a music video, you can also reach me on my website, uh, dream19.com, under the Hire Me tab. Just send me a message and I will get back to you within 48 hours. Keep dreaming and we'll see you next time.